Warning, I don't seem to be able to speak English in this video. Also, my replay control is bad. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it is Dark Slayer from Dark Slayer TV, and I'm bringing you more StarCraft II action. There will only be one game today, because I am very busy as I just got a new job. That's right, I am a custodian at my high school. I know that sounds, well, my high school, I've already graduated, but my old high school. And I know that sounds really bad because it's custodial, but I gotta tell you, it's really not that bad. It's a super easy job and nice pay. Now, if you look at the names, we have, well, let's, let's just introduce them. Up here, at the top right of Daybreak, we have the Blue Protoss King. And down here, at the bottom left, we have the Pink Terran, Oh Really Owl. Now, these two players uh, aren't very known from what I'm aware, but to find this replay, I actually went to Google and get this. I typed in awesome replay, and this is what I found. So hopefully, it'll be an awesome replay. Um, you're only getting one game today, as I said, because I am super busy. I had to go to the bank, do taxes, all that kind of stuff. And this is a 30-minute game. This should be a very long game. 30-minute blizzard time. So we're talking, what, 20 minutes in real life? And here we go. The probe already uh, getting aggressive on that SCV. I don't think it's going to get a kill. And he's actually going to pull two SCVs to get that probe out of there. Get out of my base, oh, really, Owl says. And the probe does start to run away. Ooh, nice little micro maneuver there from King. Getting back inside the base. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a CC first here from Oh Really Owl. Getting super aggressive with that expanding to start things off. And uh, if we look at King, he's actually going to go Nexus first. You couldn't ask for a more macro intensive game. Like, than starting Nexus and Command Center first. If you wanted to. Like, literally started at the exact same time. Uh... Fun fact, I didn't know this. Nexus Command Center, and I don't know about Hatchery, all have the same build time. I guess that makes sense, but I never really thought about it. And the pylon coming down here in O'Reilly Owl's base, but he's not really too worried about it as uh, he probably knows there can't be too much aggression coming down. Actually, another pylon does go down, and all the SCVs are pulled. Maybe he does think there is a cannon risk going on because he, uh, scouting SCV hasn't quite made it to O'Reilly's base yet. If we look over here, there isn't a forge or anything down. And he is causing so much damage right now, even canceling the two pylons. That was a uh, bit of an investment coming there from King, but uh, was it worth it? There was quite a few uh, SCVs pulled there, so mining time was lost there for Owl. And uh, this probe doing all kinds of damage, even now in the natural, trying to kill off this SCV. And will he get it? No! He might get it just here. The SCV needs to run away, but it does go down. This probe has caused so much damage. I've got to give it to King. He is a master with the scouting probe. We head back over here, even almost getting another SCV kill as the uh, Terran does come up here to scout that there was never really any threat at all as two gateways are just now finishing up. And finally, the first Marine is on the way for O'Reilly King. So hopefully we, uh, we won't be seeing any more damage coming done in from that probe. And this SCV running for its life. Why would you run it back? No! He's going to lose that SCV. I just know it. He is going to go back to see a little bit more scouting information, but I don't know. I feel like this SCV is risking his life right now. He's all for the Terran. Oh, really? Owl's army. I don't know what it would be called. If he was Protoss, I'd say I, or if he was Zerg, I'd say for the Swarm, but he's Terran, so there's like 90 different ways he could go. And uh, he's going to come up here right as the Zealot finishes. Oh, no. The SCV is a bit faster. Will he get any uh, additional scouting information? I mean, honestly, he won't really see anything as it is just a three gate with a cyber. Oh, five HP left on this SCV. Oh, he's gonna go right by that probe. In excellent timing, he does get it, and the SCV did go down. I called that. I knew it was coming. <laughs> the bunker is coming down for O'Reilly Owl, so we won't be seeing any of that crazy mumbo jumbo any longer. And oh my gosh, five racks are now down for O'Reilly Owl, and uh, we could be seeing a super mega racks coming in. Um, here for a really owl. Now we could see um, a another barracks going down. That's a total of six barracks on the field here for O'Reilly Owl. I think he is going to just go all in with this. I could be incorrect as it is a 30 minute game, but uh, regardless, that is a lot of barracks. 
And uh, that that probe, it lived. I'm pretty... No, never mind. That's not the scouting probe. It doesn't have any kills. I thought that was the scouting probe still alive. I was like, what a baller. We do have the robo coming down. So we do have a typical uh, three-gate robo. Actually, you know what? No, there's four gates, and we are chronoing into the cybernetics core. It won't surprise me if we see a warp prism come instantly out of this robotics facility. Uh, come on. Use your robo. Ah, he went to observer. I was incorrect. And we do have a scouting marine now checking for any kinds of pylons around the map. And uh, I was expecting the warp prism because there is a type of four gate where you get that warp prism out. Of course, typically it's going to be proxied like right here in the third base. And you can just warp right into the Terran's wall. However, we're not going to be seeing that. And uh, it actually wouldn't have worked as the Terran has six barracks all pumping marines. So we are going to be seeing a massive marine push incoming very soon. And the pylon is going to get placed, however the scouting marine does see it. And uh, he might even get the probe kill, as the probe did try to kill the marine with a bad life choice. And oh really, Owl is now actually going to go ahead and give away all these marines. So King now knows there's so many marines on the field. And uh, knows that something fishy has to be up. So uh, what are we going to be seeing in response here by King? Uh, actually, a lot of stalkers on their way over to Aurelia's base. I did miss this. And uh, he does scout it because he does have the Zelnaga, but I don't think uh, King is aware the Marines are there. And the Marines are now moving in to intercept. Goes straight for the first Stalker right up front, and the Sentry does go down. Looks like all these Stalkers are going to be lost unless he starts microing very well. Only two Stalkers remaining. He does have to cancel another Pylon, losing another Probe. These Stalkers are now going to have to make their way back, and a lot of units are going to get start started warping in here at the front for King to prep for all these Marines as uh, King Owl just built so many racks. He's even going to go ahead and start getting two tack labs on those barracks. So he does have a backup plan in case this does fail as he is also taking a third base. And uh, that is a lot of Marines, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Probably properly microed by those stalkers will pick off most of those Marines. And uh, the Marines are going to go ahead and move up here and try to engage. But what are they going to do as uh, this pylon will go down? But uh, the Protoss army is coming in from the back side. So it's going to be very difficult for these Marines to run away. A very oddly placed force field is uh, actually going to end up working for him as he uses the Stalkers as a wall. And all the Marines are going to go down. Very well played there by King. Very, very successful defense as it was a very late uh, giant Marine push. And what is this? A ninja coming here from King, actually taking the fourth or fifth expand here for a really owl. And uh, that marine production has not halted. So many marines are on the field now. We do have stim and combat shield on the way. And a few marauders are getting added to the mix. And as you can see, we still don't have gas taken here on the natural for a really owl. I think he does have both in the main. So we're not going to be seeing too much uh, tech coming from a really owl. But uh, I don't think he really needs the gas as it's all going. Uh, all this money is just minerals in these marines. And uh, let's look over here and look at the tech for King. We do see that the robotics, uh, that's a forge. There it is. The robotics bay is down for King, which is an excellent choice. Seeing all these marines on the field. And I actually don't see any starports on the field unless that was getting laid right there. So uh, this reactor could be used for marines or he might lift it up and trade it for the medevacs. Or Vikings, if he does scout, the cost of production will be starting at any moment as the robotics bay is just about to finish here. Third base is done for a really owl and uh, just now getting the SCBs over there to get that saturated. Marines now going to start uh, poking and prodding around. Going to go out and get some scouting information, but there's a probe here and he does pull away. You know, this is not a low uh, level game here. I don't know who either of these players are, but I can tell both of them are easily in a master's position as uh, just the way they react to things and just their play, how aggressive they are with expanding, all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, two cannons going down here in the, uh, well, I guess that would be called your third base for King. And uh, even warping in, in some units here. And uh, oh no, these units did get separated. And uh, they did start to engage. Actually going to lose two sentries right off the bat. However, some nice force fields do split that army right in half. And uh, the Terran is focused firing down the Immortals, which is an excellent play. However, uh, that Guardian Shield is still up. And I don't know if that's such a great thing. The force field is actually saving the Marines' life there at the end. However, there is only four Marines in a Marauder, so not too much. And my dog, Tori, is scratching on the door right now. It totally needs to stop. Gosh, silly puppy, what are you doing? Anyways, 
Um, I wonder if that did get the uh, tip off here to Oh Really Owl that that ninja expand is up there. Of course, I guess the army could have just been positioned here, but uh, if he doesn't get some scouting done, he isn't going to have a fourth base. The only option he'll have is right here, which is a little bit harder to defend. And I don't think he scouted the uh, robotics facility because he is double pumping um, medevacs right now, and uh, there are Colossus now finally on the way, but there would already be one created. However, it did just begin. And odd, odd expansion placements here from King. Um, he's not really being punished for it because Oh Really Owl isn't really doing that much aggression. However, these two medevacs might be what changes this entire thing because these medevacs are actually, oh no, look at their course. They might actually go right between the two bases. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he does scout it. He did scout the base up here at the top left. Those medevacs are definitely close enough, but what's he going to do to react as there are a uh, small marine marauder force making its way across the map? The army does move down to the bottom right here to engage. So he is going for a double pronged attack. We do have the medevacs just about to land here in the main base for King. But if we look down here, his army is on the Zelnaga. And King is pulling in the wrong direction as there is so much damage going to be done in his main base. His army is so out of position. This is exactly why you can't have bases like that because your army is going to be separated and out of position at all times. And as the upgrade is just about to finish there for King, it does go down. There's even a stem here going to go straight for the Nexus as the army is so out of position. We even go into the main base here. It's just now being cleaned up. So much damage was done up there. The uh, Nexus does go down, even killing a forge. Going to move down here to try to engage all these marines and marauders as they have been stemmed to death as there's no medevacs around uh, even noticing that the third base hasn't been taken because it's right here and right here and uh, it really did cost king to uh, expand in those positions as his army was just so far out of position he had nothing he could do to actually move to engage or even defend that natural and his main base even gonna get, uh, get dropped up here now but only two marines and a marauder so nothing too bad right there but uh, it does cause another pro pull and uh, is he gonna kill that I don't know no he's not he is gonna get out of there just in time and another big push coming in here from Oh Really Owl as most of that force did survive. It is very injured from the stimp, but not too bad. And you can really see how the Rax production is uh, really kicking in here for Owl as the supply is very heavily in his favor. And the drop now moves into the main base of King. This is exactly what Oh Really Owl needed to do. And there is Vikings on the field now, so that Colossi is going to die very fast as this engagement does go underway. The Protoss force is just so huge right now that I don't know if this uh, pure bio army is going to be able to handle. There's not very medivac many medivacs on the field. However, an excellent concave here from Oh Really Owl and the battle does pursue. Uh, although force fields do keep most of that army from attacking, however, any results that do go up there are going to get creamed immediately as there are forces behind the force fields. And uh, Oh Really Owl trying to do everything he can to push in right here. And there's just so many force fields being laid down. It actually looks like the Protoss may actually be able to take this down. I don't know though. It's going to be a very close battle and if he does take this down, there's so many racks. I don't know if he's going to be able to kill off the Terran right now. The Vikings were landed and uh, even though he's pulling back the Immortal, the Vikings could have engaged. They're not engaged uh, and the racks does fall awful fast. Is this where King is going to take this game? I'm not really sure. And the Vikings do finally uh, move up here to engage. Their reinforcements making their way as fast as they can across the map as there is not a proxy pylon placed. And King trying to do as much damage as he can right now. And uh, the SCVs are going to go ahead and get pulled. And uh, pretty good surround on these uh, Stalkers. But I don't think it's going to be enough. The Stalkers will be able to overpower these SCVs. Unless this uh, small bio army does show up. And uh, finally, this attack is almost cleaned up. But all these reinforcements are coming in. I feel like King really does need to back off right now. He's just wasting units as... Uh, these units do keep running into the natural. There's just too much going on uh, for them to be able to kill all that. However, if we do go to, what is it, resources lost tab? Oh, man, what did I do? Oh, my God, I just restarted the replay. Oh, no. Go back. Go back. Uh, let's see engage it. Go forward. More. No. No, that's too far. Oh, God. No spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. Let's get started here. I'm fast forwarding. Ignore my mistake, I'm new to this. Blah 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 blah. I'm new to this. Doop, doop, doop. 
I didn't do this. Alright, alright, look at that. Look, we're exactly where we were at. Okay. <laughs> what I was saying is if you look at the uh, units lost tab, that actually uh, made things pretty even here, surprisingly, uh, in this game, as a lot of damage did go down on King for uh, having these expansions everywhere. But if you look, a really owl is not going to let this base live. He's going to run, run up here and take it out, and there's not really much that King can do about it. King is going to try to move over here to defend, but I think all of this is going to die before he can even make it here in time. Moving in here was a, it was a good idea, but the second it was scouted, it's no longer a good idea because you can't move in to defend it. Like, he actually was on the way, but he actually did stop. He's going to have to let this die. He knows it. And uh, the command center now actually going to come over here and land for a really owl as he has declared this base his. And if we go over to, let's see, the units tab. No, I want the army supply tab. Where's the supply tab? I'm not sure what it is yet. Uh, where is it? Army supply control. Hey, ha! Ah! It is very heavily in Owl's favor right now. As the worker uh, supply is in King's favor, um, the supplies are rather the same. And that is... Oh my god. Sorry about the fail uh, camera control this game, guys. I don't know what is wrong with me. But uh, I will get it eventually. And here we go, another engagement. These uh, bi That bio force is going to start making its way over here into the third base of King. However, it does get cleaned up rather fast here. Um, but uh, once again, I don't think it matters. You ready for this? Boom. Another bio army. And ghost production has begun here for... Uh, who is his name? Oh, really? Owl. Uh, Tutu is about to finish up. And if we go to the production tab, we do see uh, that... Uh, King is actually on 111, actually deciding to get that shield upgrade, which is rather odd. Uh, most Protoss will choose to get three, three weapons and armor before getting that shield upgrade. And uh, very, very even game here from O'Reilly, Owl, and King. No one's really in the lead because O'Reilly or O'Reilly Owl has lost a lot of reinforcements. He didn't really need to lose. He's overcommitted here a few times. But at the same time, King is so spread out that he's losing bases left and right. And uh, O'Reilly Owl even seeing here that King still does not have his third taken. And uh, it, I mean, it's almost five bases to three right now because O'Reilly Owl did take this expansion down here. The command center is finished up here. And as soon as he realizes that, he will go ahead and get that saturated and turned into an orbital or a PF deciding on what he wants to do. Units here are going to go ahead and start taking out the destructible debris, and uh, we could be seeing an engagement here at any time between Owl and King. Oh no, here we go! Are they going to choose to defend uh, or to attack? And it looks like King does want it. He's going to start running forward, but Owl's saying no, and he's running backwards. He even gets a free sentry kill. Don't know what that sentry was doing. And a ghost is left behind. And no EMPs have went down, and there we go. The EMPs have went down on the front end of those stalkers. However, excellent force fields are going to keep this Terran in a very divided position. However, the Terran does have a very good concave and some good EMPs will uh, put the favor into Owl and I think he might actually be able to hold here as the Immortals do start falling rather rapidly. Two are about to die. One, two do go down. And it does look like uh, King with reinforcements might actually be able to kill off the Bio Force after all. Uh, I didn't know where that proxy pylon was. No, it wasn't a proxy. It was actually his third base that came in uh, handy right there and did put the favor in his favor. And uh, O'Reilly Owl in a bit of a position right here. And double Colossae production has started for King as Vikings are no longer on the field. We no longer see any medibacks either. 3-3 is on the way for King. And the upgrades are so far in King's favor. It's absolutely ridiculous. If he gets that 3-3... He can have half the army that King can, and with excellently placed e uh, EMPs, King will just fall. Like, with 1-1-1 versus 3-3 three, three and EMPs, it's going to be very difficult for him to do this. And uh, King apparently forgetting his Nexus and saying GG. Not exactly sure what he means about that. Taking his Nexus down here in the fourth location here. And uh, this Marine, however, will scout it. Very good scouting by O'Reilly Owl. He's going to scout this and probably say, uh, no, exactly. And uh, we probably will see a move out right now to go kill that. No, nope, opting not to go kill that, but he does know about it. And uh, that Marine actually getting a cancel on that Nexus. And the income for King is going to start dropping rapidly as soon as you see 
these mineral fields start disappearing because they all only have about 300 resources max left on them. The main is completely mined, and if you look over here, even these are really close to being mined out. Uh, the bank for oh really king is very high, and he's still mining rapidly. Uh, he's even going to start making his way over here to uh, probably try to end this game here. He's going to go for this last engagement, which I would really opt to wait for that 3-3 as King is only on 1-1-1. One, one, one. And actually going to go over here and take the base in King's position, almost a BM command center. However, I guess uh, King did put a BM expansion at the top left. And this bio force is, force is actually really small. That is one big Protoss death ball. And uh, versus this small Terran force, it probably will get annihilated. And here we go. Here comes the mutilation. The Protoss force is just not big enough to deal with that, especially without Vikings on the field. But with the upgrade advantage in his favor, if he gets some good EMPs, he might be able to get quite a few kills on this army. And the army for King can't be replenished. You guys have to remember that. So if this army does die for King, it's completely over. He does not have the money to replenish it, as uh, he has no expansions in one of the last few mining bases. Uh, did die and here comes the giant engagement the Colossus are melting by a left and right However, there is three Vikings on the field, but they're all shot out of the air already excellent target micro there by the stalkers However, an EMP does get all of the forces There are no more shields and the upgrades are so far in the Terran's favor that army is melting faster than chocolate in the microwave Oh my gosh, there are a few stalkers still left on the field, but the barracks production is absolutely absurd. And uh, like once again, here comes the last forces in here for King as he can't replenish after that. There's no more money in the bank, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He does kill off the last few of these marauders. However, the ghosts are stealthy. You cannot see them. And as all these marauders make their way down the ramp, all the stalkers do die. Now, I went to Google and I typed in amazing replay. Uh... That was a very good game. It was a very close game. It was a very cheeky game, as both players were putting things where they shouldn't, mainly King. But, uh, was it wasn't really amazing, I gotta admit. Maybe I should just stick with the pros. I don't know. I don't know. Aurelian King did pretty good. They did pretty good, guys. But, not amazing. This has been Dark Slayer, signing out.